so I'm back for another video and I thought I would show you guys what I got at Walmart while I was out earlier. I actually have had this doll hidden in Walmart. I had her hidden behind all the Hermione dolls. So yeah, I had her hidden. There was a bunch of Hermione, so Hermione is right there. I had a bunch of her, so I had this doll. This doll was actually on clearance. They had some Ron dolls that were on clearance too, but McGonagall was the one I wanted a lot, so I hid her until she went on clearance. I mean, she was already on clearance. She was like $10, but just for the heck of it, I reached back there where I had her hidden, and I went to go scan her again, and sure enough, they went down on her to seven dollars and I was like that's as much as a fashionista so heck yes and all the other dolls she's been hidden in there for like a month I hid her for like a month or so and all the other ones that were in clearance are gone so that would be kind of fun to see me unbox her in front of you so and yes, I have Teddy here with me, and I will have to do a review over this outfit that he's currently sporting. This is his workout outfit, very 80s, so he's going to be propping up my phone, but I'll have to do a review over this outfit, because I got that for Christmas for him. So I'll have to do a review over that later. So, he is going to prop my phone up. Here's the doll. I'm pretty sure it's like a fashionista. Yep. At the bottom, you pull on it, and it should open. There we go. It comes right open. loud oh my god so yeah she has an entirely different type of face mold now as you can see on the box I'm guessing this is McGonagall as a Barbie doll because if you can see she has wrinkles and stuff like that lots of wrinkles the face mold is obviously reminiscent of her just without all the wrinkles because, you know, Barbies are perfect, so. But, oh my gosh, she is really cool. And I'm going to take the hat out. I'm going to save those elastics so I can do doll's hair. I have so many hats that look like this. Not this specific. Oh, wow. It looks like there's little glitters in there. I don't think it is, though. Yeah, she's pinned to the back. No tabs in her head. Thank you, Mattel. Oh, just break that. I don't use scissors when doing this. Oh my gosh. There's one of those old school Barbie elastic. Well, it's not really an elastic, I don't think. Yeah, it's one of those old school things, one of those tabs that you would pull to get the doll out. Very easy, actually. Pop those. Love her shoe, her little heel boots. Oh my gosh, she's still stuck. Yeah. And there's the back, in case any of you want to see that. She's got plastic over her legs. I don't know why. She's got plastic over her hand. Oh, there's a hair elastic. Yay, free hair elastic. And she is free from her cardboard and plastic prison. So I'll definitely have to do a review over her. Let me see if I can put her hat on. 
Yep, that goes right on over her hair. Okay, so here's the doll. Very reminiscent of her. I love her hair. Like, she has all these intricate little highlights throughout her hair. She's not gray. Like, she doesn't have gray hair. Very reminiscent of the actress. I honestly can't remember her name. I know if someone said her name, I would probably... But yeah. See, I wish her lips were redder. Like you see here, her lips are red. She has kind of a glamour makeup going on. And the actual doll is kind of neutral looking. But very, very much like her. Just without the wrinkles, because she it's her as a Barbie. So yeah, they painted some wrinkles on her four. I actually have a Hermione doll though from when they first came out. I have the magical 2002 magical talking Hermione doll. I have like three of her too. I have my childhood one and two that I got from eBay. The outfit is very nice. There's her little boots, her heeled boots. See, I have a lot of hats, witch hats that look like this, not exactly super Harry Potter-esque like this, but you know, it's the classic witch-looking hat that came with my witch Barbies. So yeah, there we go. That's a little better. So let's see. All it says is Mattel. It doesn't have a date. I hate it when they don't include dates, but if I'm not mistaken, I think she has the standard Barbie doll body. So yeah, and there's her wand, which she's not actually holding. It's kind of just like rubber banded to her hand. Yeah, the hands themselves are a custom mold for her. They don't use these hands on Barbies. So yeah, that's her. I will be sure to do a review over her later on if you guys would be interested in that. And anyhow, thank you guys for watching my little unboxing. Oh yeah, and if you want to, you can pause the video to read that. There we go. There. Be sure to get it all in there. Just so I don't leave anything out. But yeah. So anyhow, thank you guys for watching. More videos to come and remember to stay true to you.